Yes, more solutions. Hi, I'm John McNeil, and this is the Invest Strong Network. Welcome. At this very moment, early 2021, our fair nation is beguiled by three major issues, uh, and it need each one of these issues needs some kind of resolution. First and foremost, of course, there is the CV-19 pandemic. It is raging uh, around 2,700 people a day in this nation are perishing because of uh, the CV-19 uh, infection and the complications that that creates. And so some resolution uh, to this must be brought. Now, in fact, there are vaccines now that are available, thank goodness, but we have certain members of the population that are rather hesitant to uh, take this newfound vaccine. And until we can get to some kind of herd immunity, which is somewhere around 80% of persons who've either had CV-19 or have been inoculated against it, the CV-19 pandemic will continue to go on. So that's crisis number one. Crisis number two is this political gridlock surrounding the uh, economic support package. Now, Congress has already passed uh, a package which extended unemployment benefits. That's good. Also uh, passed out uh, $600 per person checks to uh, everyone making uh, less than $75,000 a year. Well, 600 bucks won't go very far. And now President Trump and the Dems are interested in a closer to a $2,000 total uh, benefit. Now, that's much better, but uh, Republicans in Congress uh, have, some Republicans in Congress, I'll put it that way, are, are not on board for that. And so that's creating uh, another, fun, that's exacerbating a financial crisis that many persons are having uh, at this particular time. Crisis number two. Crisis number three is in the overall economy. The economy is struggling mightily and and it will continue to struggle uh, so long as the first two things are uh, still in action. So what can be done to uh, tackle all three of these issues? Well, it's amazing how serendipity works. Uh, as I was conversing with a very, very dear friend of mine, he came up with a solution that puts a dent in all three of these things. First of all, uh, as it relates to the rescue package or the uh, financial support package, the uh, Republicans in the Senate, especially uh, Mitch McConnell from Kentucky, who is the majority leader, he would drop all of these uh, connections, uh, superfluous connections to uh, investigating the election and, and the technology companies that he's attached all these amendments to, which make it unpalatable for Democrats to vote for. He would drop all of that, save one. There would be one determinant factor uh, involved in receiving a $1,400 second uh, payment. Uh, and that would be uh, your agreement to receive a CV-19 vaccine. Right. So many uh, persons, especially in the black community, which is what I'm most familiar with, those persons who are most suspicious of receiving uh, the CV-19 um, uh, vaccine because of past historical medical issues, uh, they will not get the $1,400 unless they agree to be vaccinated. Right. What a perfect idea. And so. Uh, for those persons who are most need in most need of the additional uh, $1,400 to add up to the uh, $2,000, they are given a very strong incentive to get to get vaccinated, and uh, that would help build uh, towards the herd immunity that we are in desperate need of at this time. Right? What a brilliant idea! At the same time it basically ends the political gridlock, right? Because I believe that Republicans, Democrats, the president, 
current president, the outgoing president Trump, the incoming uh, president, the Biden administration, all of them are on board for uh, herd immunity for CV-19 infection. And, uh, and most of them are on board for $2,000 uh, to each person. And what better way to get there than to make it contingent, receiving the $1,400 contingent on, um, on, on receiving the CV-19 vaccine. Ingenious. Also, it would really boost the economy. Now, a $2,000 payment would go a very, very long way towards keeping the economy buoyant and helping out those persons who are most in need, right? And so uh, to me, this seems like just the perfect way, the perfect solution to handle uh, all three of these major, major issues at this time. Now, how would this be administered? Well, my friend in talking with him, he, he had the idea of having a, a government paymaster at every vaccination site. So you show up and they basically cut you a check for $1,400 on the spot. Okay, that could certainly be considered. Another consideration is um, if we cannot have government paymasters at every site, you can have the actual medical staff that administer the vaccinations, they'll have a roll of tickets, right? Each ticket has a control number attached to it. You show up, you receive your uh, CV-19 vaccination. They give you one of those vouchers for, uh, for, for receiving the, uh, the vaccination. You take the voucher, enter the control number into a government website, bam, they release your $1,400. How sweet is that, right? In any event, in either event, it would be a benefit to everyone. And that's what is desperately needed at this point. And it should not take, it would not take a very long time to put a structure like this in place, right? Uh, in fact, this technology already exists. It's just a matter of rolling it out and, and getting people to follow the instructions. Um, and believe me when I tell you, those, those people, especially in the black community, in the black and brown communities, and in suspicious uh, rural white communities, uh, they will line up to receive their vaccinations if they'll get $1,400 for doing it, right? And 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 I think it's just a perfect combination. Well, uh, so that's my, those are my thoughts for this particular week. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would appreciate it. Please do it. Also, Hit that thumbs up button if you think this is a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a great idea, but, you know, let me know what you think. And, of course, like I always request, please subscribe to Invest Strong. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much, friends. Happy New Year and good blessings.